everyone, welcome to the news in English live from Magadisho with me. I am Omar Noor. The top headline is in clear. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi has accorded a warm welcome to the Somali president at the presidential palace in Cairo earlier on Monday morning. Somali parliament has given 10 more days to the new prime minister to form his cabinet ministries. Kenyan police have suffered another casualties in Al-Shabaab IED attack along the Somali border. Ethiopian authorities claim to victory over Al-Shabaab attack inside the country. Somali security forces detained suspected Al-Shabaab militants during an operation in central Somalia. U.S. aid has announced additional funding to Somalia in aid as response to the current severe drought in the country. Welcome back to the news in detail. Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed has arrived in Cairo on Sunday afternoon and received a warm welcome at the presidential palace today on Monday. He is scheduled to hold bilateral talks with Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi uh, due to the ongoing crisis in the Horn of Africa. Ambassador Elias Sheikh Omar Abu Bakr, Somali's ambassador to Egypt and permanent representative to the Arab League, stressed the importance of Somali president's visit to Egypt as it will help advance relations between the two countries in all worlds. The Somali ambassador said that uh, this visit is the first uh, of the president of Somalia to Egypt since he was assumed to office last month. He indicated that Somali leader is set to meet Somali, uh, his Egyptian counterpart uh, later today and held a bilateral summit uh, that deals all issues of concern to the two countries at the bilateral level as well as a regional and international topic is Abu Bakr indicated his country's keenness to consult with Egyptian leadership regarding the ways to deal with the challenges facing the region and world at large. The unprecedented tension and challenges that the world is witnessing require more than ever to increase cooperation and coordination between Arab League countries, especially Egypt, uh, given the pivotal role it plays in supporting uh, Arab causes, he has explained. Uh, the, the brotherly boundaries between Somalia and Egypt has been historically. The ambassador prized the level of the Somali-Egyptian relation which witnessed a great development during the last stage uh, through mutual visits at the ministerial level, at the level of senior officials, the last of which was the visit of the Egyptian Prime Minister to Somalia during the integration ceremony of the new President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed in Mogadishu last month. Abu Bakr stressed that the change of these visits uh, achieve is the common interest of the two countries and will be crowned today by the Somali president's visit to Egypt and his meeting with President al-Sisi. He stressed that the Somali-Egyptian relation is, is historical and solid, expressing his hope that the visit will achieve the desired results and open up wider horizon in the course of cooperation and joint work between the two brotherly countries, Somalia and Egypt.
The members of Somali parliament on Monday gathered in the capital uh, Mogadishu uh, to discuss a request by the Prime Minister of the country Hamza Abdi Barre, who wanted extra time to appoint uh, his cabinet ministries after the deadline of the one month has expired today. According to the sources, the development came after the Prime Minister has sent a request to the Speaker of the Parliament that delays the extension of the time of his formation of the Cabinet Ministries. Both leaders of the country, the Prime Minister and the President, have just consulted on this issue according to the uh, local sources in Mogadishu. The sources father said that Prime Minister Hamza Abdi Barwe uh, didn't uh, appear at the parliament on Monday. Uh, the lawmakers have held the discussions uh, in the early hours at the uh, Villa Somalia in their office. Also, the MPs have uh, voted uh, overwhelmingly the request by the Prime Minister. Uh, 144 MPs have voted in favour of the Prime Minister's request for the extension. One MP has rejected and there was no any abstention. Prime Minister Hamza Abdi Barwe was appointed on June 15th of this year by President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed who elected uh, 50 May of this year as president uh, by the parliament. Since 1960, all Somalis MB had been forming uh, their cabinet within 30 days after getting the parliament uh, approval. U.S. aid administrator has paid a visit to the Somali capital Mogadishu on Sunday as the country faces its worst drought that affected over 7 million Somali people, half of the population, uh, which makes the worst drought in 40 decades. Now Somalia will uh, receive 470 million US dollars from the United States Agency for the International Development USA to help in the efforts to address the ongoing humanitarian crisis in the drought striken country. Their commitment was made by the US aid chief Samantha Power uh, during a meeting with Somali President uh, Hassan Sheikh Mohammed at the presidential palace in the capital on Sunday morning. Uh, during their discussions, President uh, Hassan Sheikh Mohammed has emphasized uh, his government's determination to tackle the ongoing humanitarian and drought crisis and intensify the fight against uh, Al Shabaab militants and prioritize political stability democratization and reconciliation, according to the state media. Uh, Samantha Power has promised uh, 470 million US dollars to support uh, aid and development uh, projects in Somalia. Abdurrahman Abdishakur Warsame, Somali's special presidential envoy for the drought uh, response uh, welcome to the new U.S. funding. It comes at a time of unprecedented suffering in our country due to the ravaging drought, uh, Abdurrahman Abdishakur Warsame said in a Twitter post, adding that U.S. aid remains Somali's largest humanitarian donor. According to the UNICEF, uh, an estimated 7.1 million Somali people Half of the population will face severe food insecurity by the end of this year. Some 1.5 million children in Somalia under the five years of age will be severely malnourished in its latest situation 
report uh, that figure amounts to around uh, 45 of all ca percent of all kids in Somalia. Samantha Power is visiting countries in East African region where unprecedented drought is pushing uh, 20 million people on the brink of starvation and food insecurity. This is being uh, uh, done further, exacerbated by the Russia's invasion of Ukraine, according to the U.S. aid statement. During her stop in Kenya, she announced nearly 255 million in additional emergency food and other critical humanitarian and development assistance. In Kenya, the historically unprecedented drought has pushed more than 4 million people to the edge of starvation, said U.S. aid in a statement earlier this week. That's the end of our today's English news live from Mogadishu with me. I am Omar Noor and the rest of the team here in our studio will leave you. Bye for now.